In this video I'm going to show you my process of how I designed a specific lamp but you can use this for yourself for whatever furniture or actually whatever product you are designing yourself. Hi and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Simon and on this channel I like to design and build furniture and many other things. As you maybe know from my last videos, I'm trying to start a company called Hrivnak Furniture and uh, this video, this week, I'm going to design a lamp that is then later gonna be sold in the company on the platform of uh, Hrivnak Furniture. So in this video, I'm actually gonna walk you through my process of designing and then in next video, I'm gonna build it. So why have I decided to build this lamp? In last two years, I've been building and slowly selling tables that I've created together with my father. But I was thinking about having a product that can be easier for people to get to know me through. And after talking to my good friend Daniel Overbeck, who is known photographer and videographer here in Denmark, Copenhagen, he gave me an idea to make a lamp because that would be much easier for people to buy and I totally fell in love with this idea and so we are here and I am designing my first lamp. Scandinavian design and all the furnitures they are so beautiful and I've been constantly fascinated about the beauty and about the how simple they are and I've been trying to use that design in my design and so how I start and actually how I design furniture is that first I will go to Pinterest and I will search for things that I like and I will try to save them. My second thing what I did was going to YouTube and searching for trends for year 2021 within the interior design and uh, what I discovered is that the shape of arch is gonna be pretty cool in the year 2021 so I kind of took that into my head and I started to think about what do I want to include in my design of a lamp once I had those kind of uh, guidelines I just took a paper and I started to sketch my first ideas I started to sketch those ideas and uh, for me process of sketching I believe that it needs to be a, on a real paper I don't think that sketching on an iPad or yeah electronically I don't I don't think sketching electronically works because it's too easy to delete once you have that idea when I'm sketching I'm, I'm making many sketches and every new sketch is coming out of the the one previous one so my designing process is actually coming as the evolution of my first idea. So why I'm using SketchUp? SketchUp allows me to put exact measurements into the program. So once I'm modeling my design, I can actually measure it within the program. And then in the real life, when I'm building the, the piece of furniture, I can measure it and I can see the measurements in the program. And then I can actually build my product much faster. But also it gives me a very good idea of what and how is my final product gonna look like. And that is definitely much better than just sketching up on a paper because on a paper it's not that accurate but in the program you can see exactly how it's gonna look like and that really gives me such a such a good overview and yeah a big advantage so if you are doing such a project if you are making something like that Definitely, definitely, definitely. I recommend 100% use SketchUp and learn how to use SketchUp so you can get better with this and you get better at designing stuff. And this is definitely a good way because it's for free. It costs your time only. I don't want to make it any longer. So thank you very much for watching this video. I enjoyed this process. I hope you enjoyed watching. Now you know how I designed it, so you can also design your own furniture. If you like what I do, like and comment and subscribe and do whatever you need to actually keep updated about what I do. And if you can let me know 
if you have a good idea what color would you paint the leg of the lamp, please let me know so I can get inspired. And uh, yeah, please check out the Instagram and Facebook page of uh, Hrivnak Furniture. There you can follow up on what I do together with my father. And uh, yeah, in next video I'm going to build this lamp. So definitely stay tuned and see you in the next one. And I would like to say big thanks to Daniel Overbeck that gave me this idea of making a lamp. Bro, thank you.